“一带一路”建设秉持的是共商共建、共享原则，不是封闭的，而是开放包容的；不是中国一家的独奏，而是沿线国家的合唱。“一带一路”建设，不是要替代现有地区合作机制和倡议。This Belt and Road Initiative refers to the Silk Road Economic Belt and 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. It aims to promote economic cooperation among the 60 different countries from Asia, Europe to Africa, intending to further market integrations and to create a development strategy that is beneficial to all. On March 15, 2016. The State Council issued its guiding opinions on deepening Pen Pearl River Delta regional cooperation. This illustrates the pivotal importance of the Pearl River Delta. Through its unique geographical location, its shared human resources, and its extensive infrastructure network, the Pearl River Delta can act as a strategic anchor that connects mainland China to South Asia and Southeast Asia in the development of this 21st century maritime Silk Road. One of the key locations is the Hengqing New Area, with its impending opening of Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge and the Guangzhou Zhuhai Intercity Railway. This 107 square kilometer island will serve as a new model of political and economic cooperation between Guangdong Province, Hong Kong, and Macau. Under the framework of the One Country Two Systems policy, it is in the perfect position to be transformed as a Belt and Road International Hub. This Belt and Road International Hub will be located on the south side of the island, around Tai Hunting Hill. Following the approved development plan, the majority area of the hill is treated as an ecological preservation zone, while the new development is concentrated on the edges of the hill and portions of the coastlines. Four different zones are identified: Expo Zone, Urban Expansion Zone, Marine City Zone, and Ecological Zone. On the west side of the island, this expo zone is situated at a strategic location between the North-South Highway and the East-West Guangzhou-Zhuhai Intercity Railway. Convention halls with different capacities provide the needed venues for different trade shows to attract investors and further develop business opportunities brought forth by the Belt and Road Economic Cooperation. This new intercity railway station provides a direct pedestrian access to this expo zone. Above the station will be a shopping podium with hotels and commercial towers above. On the north slope of the Tai Hengqing Hill, a residential and commercial mixed-use district is proposed. The existing roads, green space, paths, and walkways will extend from the canal side in order to maintain a continuous urban fabric. Terracing down the hillside, the buildings are organized in descending heights so they don't impede into each other's view. Towers and courtyards are proposed with landscape gardens that are linked to a bigger landscape system. New parks are also proposed to serve as gateways to the hill. A water-based community is proposed on the west coast. It is a mixed-use community of hotel, residential, and commercial zone. Using the earth excavated from the urban expansion zone, a network of reclaimed roads, paths, and green spaces is created. Low-rise residential with direct access to the water forms the majority of the fabric. Numbers of high-rise towers with panoramic view of the water are also proposed. Their iconic form becomes a series of landmark in the marine city zone. Continuing the ecological preservation zone from the southeast corner of the island to the southern coast, a series of ecological bays are proposed in the ecological zone. Encircled by gabion sea walls or walkways, each bay protects a specific indigenous natural feature of the coast. Teaming up with the University of Macau, these ecological bays will take on a research component as well as an attraction for ecotourism. Taking advantage of its south-facing slope. A series of solar farms are also proposed to help generate the much-needed sustainable energy for the island. With these four specific zones, the aim of the Da Hengqing Hill Master Plan is to create a diverse and open community, a community that can provide the right platform to promote international and regional trade, 
a community with sustainable development that provides pleasant and healthy environment for its inhabitants to live, work, and play. A community that cherishes and respects its natural environment. Ultimately, a community that can provide the necessary support for Hengqing to be transformed into this Belt and Road International Hub.